You're finally awake! Was it your first time? That's right. Little Sue is my firstborn child. Speaking of which, I want to hold my daughter in my own arms. <sighs> I've been waiting for this ever since I found out I was expecting. Um, she's right here with me. But I don't know how to explain this. I think you should see it for yourself. There has to be some kind of mistake. Why does Sue look so old? Did something go wrong? I'm a little scared. What happened, nurse? Tell me. I'm afraid there's nothing we can do, Jane. I don't know how it happened, but she was born this way. I've never seen anything like it, so I was scared too. Oh well, it doesn't matter to me. She's still my daughter. That's all that counts, don't you agree, nurse? Besides, looks aren't everything. We all know that. Well, um, I'm glad you feel that way, Jane. I agree with you. Looks aren't everything. I hope you turn out to be a great mother. I think you'll do great. Thank you. Actually, now that I think about it, I think motherhood can wait until tomorrow. I'm tired. I need sleep. Oh, definitely. I'll take care of Sue. She'll be waiting for you to recover. Just got out of work. I heard the news. Honey, congratulations! I'm so sorry I couldn't be there. So, where's our princess? Where's our little Sue? Ah! Honey, what are you doing? Get that away from you! You just had a massive surgery. I don't want you getting infected by- but Dave, this is our Sue! How could you say those things? This is our daughter! Not in a million years. Not in a million years am I accepting that in my house. I refuse to believe my own flesh and blood looks like that. In fact, how am I supposed to know that's my child? Have you been hiding something from me, Jane? Oh, how could you? Dave, I would never. This is our Sue. How could you say those things? Look, you can hold her in your arms yourself. Never bring that anywhere near me. You know what, Jane? We're done. We're through. Never come to my house ever again. Ugh, can't believe you'd call that our child of all things. <laughs> I'm so sorry you had to hear that. He's a good man. He'll, he'll listen to me. Right now, he's just angry. I get it, Jane. Listen, you need some rest, especially after what you went through. I'll take care of Sue and make sure she's in even better shape when you see her again. Take some rest, okay? <laughs> You're right. I'll do that. Thank you. I thought I told you to never set foot in this house again. Have you gone deaf? Dave, honey, you haven't visited us in the hospital once after that one time. I thought we could talk about this. Look, Sue has been wanting to see her father for a long time. Why not just hold her and- We've talked about this. I won't even waste a single breath on her. Get her away from me and leave my house. We are through, Jane, forever. Neither you or that deserve to be anywhere near me. <laughs> Don't say that, Dave. You're breaking my heart. <laughs> By the way, Jane, meet my new girlfriend. She's already way cooler and beautiful than you'll ever be. Huh, I just keep hitting the jackpot with my women. Ew, what's with that you're keeping with you? Don't tell me that's your excuse for a child. She looks pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> this is your final warning, woman. Come to my house again and I'll call the cops on you. Now leave us alone in peace. Don't listen to 
him, sweetheart. He's he's just upset, that's all. Let's go find you a place to eat and rest. Okay, sweetie? Sweetie, just a little bit longer. We're almost there. Your grandma will be so happy to see you. Well, here goes nothing. Jane, dear, you should have told me you were coming. I would have made you your favorite soup. What are you doing at this time of the night? Where's Dave? Mom, can we come in first? I'll explain everything to you later. Sue is getting cold out here and she... she needs her rest. Oh, sure, sure, come in. Tell me everything. It's been a while. Jane, sweetie, has Sue always been like this? Does Dave know? <laughs> he does. In fact... He threw me out when he saw Sue. He called her all kinds of names. He left me, Mom. He left me all alone with my Sue. I don't know what I should do. Sweetie, you're home now, okay? You've been through a lot. Tell you what, why don't you sit down? You must have been walking for hours. I'll make you your favorite soup. Spend time with Sue while I get back. Don't worry, I'm always with you no matter what. <laughs> it's just, I can't believe he'd do something like this. He won't even look my way anymore. Is, is this what I deserve? Is this the kind of father she deserves? I don't even know anymore. Hey, there's nothing wrong with you or with Sue, okay? What he did was wrong. There's no way around it. But don't beat yourself up. Look, your daughter needs you right now. Spend some time with her, and I'll be right back. Stay strong for her sake, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'll try. Jane, dear, what are you doing? No, 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 I can't let you cook when you're a guest. You've already been through so much. Here, hand me the stove. Let me do this, Mom. It's how I relax myself and shut down all these horrible thoughts. Besides, I'm a great cook. You'll never have a better breakfast if I'm not around. Trust me. Oh, all right. Just take it easy, okay, sweetie? You know how much I worry for you, especially in my age. You've always been this way, even when I was little. Don't worry, Mom. I'll get out of this stronger. I'll take care of myself. Plus, I'll do my best not to be a burden to you. Jane, you're my only daughter. Never think of yourself as a burden, especially not to me. You know how much I care for you, don't you? Well, that's my cue. I guess I'll see you at the dinner table. <laughs> I'll make you the best breakfast in the world. <laughs> Jane, you were absolutely right. This toast is incredible. Almost makes me want to keep you in this place and never let you go. <laughs> that actually might not be so bad. Thank you, Mom. It means a lot. Oh, <laughs> can't believe my little girl has grown up to be such an amazing cook. Well, you always love to cook, so I'm not very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> You're exaggerating. I couldn't even pick up a spoon until I was, what, six years old? <laughs> <laughs> so, sweetie, what do you have in mind? Will you go look for a job? Where will you go? I know it's only been a day, but what do you have in mind? My bestie works as a waiter at a restaurant. 
I've already asked her yesterday, and she said they're looking for an extra waiter. I guess that's a chance for me. It's a whole day shift, so I won't be home during the day. I was hoping you could take care of Sue. Oh, you don't even have to ask. I'll keep our little Sue safe and healthy. <laughs> I can always count on you, Mom. These past few days have been horrible, but talking to you... I can always let all that weight off my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm so sorry for blowing this up on you so soon. You're a lifesaver. I don't know how I can repay you. Took the words right out of my mouth. I should be the one that's grateful here. Our manager was going crazy looking for a replacement. You swooped in like my knight in shining armor. Jane, I don't know how to repay you. Oh, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know what to say. Happy I can help, I guess. We'll discuss this later, I guess. <laughs> For now, I'll show you everything I know. By the time we're done, you'll be waiting around this place even better than I do. <laughs> I wouldn't get my hopes up just yet. I'm not a fast learner, remember? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It's not like you learn things 10 times faster than I do. Totally not a fast learner. <laughs> 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 well, where do I start? I'll do whatever it takes to support my little Sue. Anything. Lead the way, Sarah, and I'll follow. Jeez, you don't have to put it like that. I'm your best friend, not your supervisor. Look, it just lead the way, will ya? We'll talk about this later. <laughs> <laughs> Look who it is! Weren't you that woman outside our house? Didn't expect you to find a job so soon. I wonder what you had to do. I know you heard me, you dweeb. Ignoring won't change a thing. Come on, Dave. I don't want to be anywhere near her. She'll probably infect me with whatever disease she has. If I ever want a child, you don't want him to turn out bad, right? Honey, this place is huge. Let's just find another table far away and request a different waiter. How about that? That should solve everything! Well, well, all right. As long as she's far away from us, that's all that matters. You hear that, woman? I better not see you anywhere near my man. Otherwise, your daughter won't be the only one with an old face. It's been half a year, and everything seems to be going great. How's work, sweetie? That Rebecca, she keeps coming into the restaurant with Dave just to spite me. It was annoying the first few weeks, but now I'm used to it. It could be worse. At least she doesn't talk to me at all now. Way better than her calling me names and insulting Sue. That's just how it is. Some people enjoy hurting others just to make themselves feel better. I'm glad you didn't turn out that way. I won't let Sue turn out that way either. Not in a million years. <laughs> Mom! Mom! Are you okay? What happened? Oh no, 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 no. Please be okay. Please be okay. Anything! What happened? 
Will she be okay? What happened to my mom? I need to see her. Jane, I don't know how to tell you this. Your mother, she passed away before she even got here. We tried our best, but we couldn't bring her back. She just had a sudden heart attack and... and... <gasps> First my husband, and now my mother. Everyone's leaving me. And now I have Sue to take care of all alone. I don't know what to do. I don't think I'm strong enough for this. <laughs> Tell me it's gonna be okay. Please, I need some hope. I need to know if Sue will be okay. I just... I need someone right now. I, I can't do this by myself. I just can't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Jane, your mother might not be with us, but she's still with you. Tell you what, why don't you spend your last moments with her? Even if she's not with us, maybe seeing her one last time... It'll give you the strength you need. I remember when I lost my mother not too long ago, just seeing her for the very last time. Even though she couldn't speak to me, it gave me the courage to move forward. I really think that's what you need right now. Why not see your mother off one last time? That's all I can say. <laughs> I need to see her one last time. Take me to her. <laughs> I'm so sorry I wasn't there for you. When I heard the news, I, I still had my shift, but that's not an excuse. You made way more sacrifices for me. It's okay. At least you're here now. You don't have to do this at all. Always here for you, bestie. That's what friends are for, remember? But with your mom gone, who's gonna take care of Sue? You can't work two jobs and take care of her at the same time. I'd do anything in the world to help you two, but I have two shifts as well. You've already done so much. Don't worry. I'll just hire a babysitter. It's expensive, but I'm prepared to do anything for my daughter. We tried that before, remember? The moment you they see Sue's face, they run away screaming. Are you sure you can find someone? I don't know, but I'll keep trying. I have to be strong for my little girl and for my mom. I can't let them down. I'll ask every babysitter in town if that's what it takes. If anyone can get through this, it's you. You got this, girl. If there's anything you ever need, I'll be there for you anytime. Remember that. Well, still not a dream. <sighs> Here we go again. Better get ready. Sleep well, sweetie? Could be better, but yes. Still wish I wasn't stuck with this face. But it is what it is. Sue, don't say that. You're beautiful just the way you are. I know it. Just because no one else sees it doesn't mean it's true. That's easy for you to say. Even my teacher. I can see it in his eyes. He doesn't even dare to look at me. Why am I like this, Mom? Why is everyone so mean to me? Sweetie, I promise you, the world is full of people who will love you just as you are. It's just that there are good and bad people in this world. Don't worry, sweetie. I promise things will get better. Thanks, I guess. Okay, Mom. I trust you. I'm hanging on as best as I can. Oh, by the way, Sarah will be taking you to school today. She'll be here in about an hour. 
Mom has a lot of work today, so I can't take you. Not again. I mean, I love Sarah, but I want you to take me, Mom. This is the third time in a row you promised. I am so sorry, dear. This is what I have to do to put food on the table. You've had a difficult childhood already, and you're still young. Do you understand, Sue? Oh, yeah, I get it. Okay, Mom. I'll wait for Sarah then. All the best for your work today. I'll be waiting for you in the afternoon. I'll try to get back earlier today. You can tell me all about how your day was. <laughs> well, I'm not sure you'd want to hear that. But I'll be wearing a special mask today, so I'll be totally fine. <laughs> Whatever works for you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I hurt you. Please forgive me. I'm just a little kid. Forgive me or else I'll be miserable for the entire day. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks she can just hide her face like that. <laughs> no offense, Sue. <laughs> just, just leave me alone. We're going to get into so much trouble for this, aren't we, Sue? I can't even imagine. <laughs> You'll regret it eventually, all of you! <laughs> we might have to take the extra shift today. I still can't make ends meet. I promised you I'd be back early, but I can't help it. She'll understand. These last seven years have been a roller coaster. I'm so proud of you, Jane. You've come so far. For you and for Sue. I bet you she thinks of you as the greatest in the world. Well, she does say that to me, so I guess it's true. Tell you what, let's get her a surprise. I'll grab her her favorite ice cream sundae when picking her up. She'll be blown away. But I want to drive you this time. I'm way too tired. Waiting tables for three hours isn't easy. Hey, I know how you feel. I do it too, remember? <laughs> <laughs> I'm officially calling you my butler for a few hours. Please, drive me safely to the ice cream store, ma'am. I'll pay you handsomely too. <laughs> you don't have to go that far, but if you insist, please get in. I'll drive you as safely as I can. No promises, though. No promises? That's not what you say, Jane. I don't know if I should get in anymore. <laughs> <laughs> This is it! This must be him! 
Dad, I'm coming back home. Your daughter is coming back. I know you'll accept me. I just know it. last week. I have no one left to take care of me, so when I found you, I was so relieved. <laughs> no way. My, my. Time hasn't been kind to you, has it, my darling? Dad, who is this? Why is she talking to me like that? Dad, please, can I just come in? You can explain everything to me. Excuse me? You're not coming into our house in a million years. I can't even stand the sight of you. Why are you even here? Dave left your mom a long time ago and is perfectly happy with me. We don't need you. Dad, what is she saying? Please say it's not true, Dad. Please let me in. I'm tired, alone, hungry. I have nowhere else to go. That's not really my problem, Sue. There's no way I'll stain my reputation by having you around the house. Me and your mom were through, as Rebecca said. There's no place for you here. Now leave or I'll call security to kick you out. Dad! Please, Dad, I need you! I'm all alone! I don't have anywhere else to go! Leave now and never come back. This is my final warning. If I see you outside here after five minutes, I'm calling security! she been here? Why hasn't anyone helped her? Okay, I saw you outside and was scared. You have a high fever. I have so many questions to ask, but we should rest first. Look, I made you some hot chocolate. Are you... are you not scared of me? Of my face? What? No, I would never! I think you're a beautiful young lady. Why would you ever say something like that? You can call me Sue. I lost my mother recently, and my dad doesn't want me. I have no one to turn to, but I never gave up. But everyone just looks at me different. This one time I was at the store, the manager kicked me out because... because I was scaring his customers. <laughs> Sweetheart, I'm so sorry. I had no idea for a young lady like you to go through this. I don't know what to say. I've been sleeping outside different neighborhoods for three days, but today I was so tired. I think I collapsed and that's when you found me. Sweetie, say no more. Just finish your hot chocolate first, okay? I promise I'll listen to you then. <laughs> Sue, so, if it's okay, why don't I take care of you? If you go out there right now, you'll never survive. There are bad people out there, and I don't want to think what they could do to you. <laughs> I won't come close to how your mother was, but I promise I'll do my best. I can't see you go out like this. 
Stay with me, and I promise I'll do whatever I can. Really? You don't mind having someone like me around? Won't your neighbors start talking? Won't they start avoiding you for having someone like me? I can't have that happen to you. Sue, listen to me, okay? You're a beautiful young lady, and nothing will change that. You've just been around very bad people who say these horrible things, but they don't see what I see. I see a young, brave girl who's been through so much and still hasn't given up. Do... do you really think so? But... but I almost gave up before you found me. If you had given up, I would have never found you, Sue. Sometimes the hardest, most painful things happen to the best people. That just proves how special you are. <laughs> I... I didn't think of that. I didn't know how much I needed this. Thank you. From now on, just call me Tracy. I wouldn't mind you calling me Mum either. I'll go make some dinner now, okay? In the meantime, rest up. You're safe now, sweetie. I promise you that. I was safe around my mom, too. But then life took her away from me. What if... What if you're taken away from me, too? I can't go through that. Not again. That will not happen. I don't know what life has in store, but I promise I will not leave your side. Now rest up and I'll get you some dinner. We'll talk even more afterwards, okay? This reminds me of when I used to have breakfast with mom. I know I'm repeating this over and over, but I can't thank you enough. You saved me when I was at my worst. Thank you. <laughs> well, sweetie, if you want her to pay me, you can simply start calling me mom too. That's all I ever need. Also, you're getting prettier by the day. Okay then, mom. <laughs> I like the sound of that too. Am I really? I looked in the mirror and I still look super old. I wonder if I'll stay this way. Well, <laughs> my theory is that you'll get younger as time goes on. Think about it. You were born with an old face, right? So maybe, just maybe, your face will look younger and younger as time passes. While the rest of us will be struggling to walk, you'll be at your prime. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but I see your point. <laughs> if you ask me, you look younger than when I found you outside all those years ago. My theory might be correct after all. Well, I guess we'll let time run its course then. <laughs> 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 By the way, my shift doesn't start till 10, so I'll drop you off to school. You won't mind that, right? I never mind that. I love spending time with you. This must be my lucky week. <laughs> <laughs> You're a tough cookie. Hmm. You three. Still the same as ever? Some things never change, do they? <laughs> I'm convinced she's using some kind of aging potion. Are you hiding your walking crane behind that locker? Wouldn't be surprised if you were. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh all you want, you little ants. You won't be celebrating for long. Trust me on that. You'll see. You'll all see. <laughs> I don't 
don't even have to remember who you are. Your face, it always takes me back. <laughs> <laughs> Just get us our usual. Two black coffees, hot. And make sure you don't touch any of it. Two black coffee. Got it. How about showing some respect to your father? You know he's terribly hurt, right? How dare you! I think we've had enough fun for today. Come on, honey. Let's have a seat. Don't let it get to you. They're just bad people. This is how they entertain themselves. It hurts to have my own dad talk to me like that. But I can't help it. Just... Just don't let it get to you. Mom, I still miss you every day. Your little girl is going strong. I don't care if the world is against me. I know I have you and Tracy. I promise I'll stay strong. For you too. Things will get better. I just know it. I know they will. I'm holding on to hope, just like you once did. I love you, Mom. I've never looked better. <laughs> you were right all along, Tracy. I mean, second mom. <laughs> you were right all along. I heard you two were late to work. Again, this is your final warning. Actually, on second thought, I'll go easy on you. You two are getting old after all. You're having way too much fun with this, aren't you? Just because you look younger and healthier doesn't make you superior. Somehow you finally managed to make your aging potion work, huh? Doesn't matter how highly you think of yourself. Let it go, you two. Just say sorry and move on. We were horrible to her for years. I think she deserves a genuine apology. Oh, so now you're standing up for her? Just because she's prettier than I am? How dare you backstab me like that? <laughs> uh, he has a point, you know. You two need to learn some manners if you're going to be in my company. Just remember, if you talk to me like that again, you're fired. This is the only place capable of hiring you three. Don't waste this opportunity. Oh, <laughs> 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 